Here we are at Lake Bob Sandlin. <clears throat> we are on the major trail. It's about a few miles. It's not terribly um, difficult. Um, you could, I mean, you couldn't take a baby stroller on it, but it's pretty, um, it's only a couple miles. I think all together they only have four and a half miles of trails. The locations, the actual um, campsites are really nice. They're big and they're secluded because these big tall trees are everywhere. Um, there could be more bathrooms. So if you're like me and you're in a tent, you want to use a bucket. Or if you're in an RV, you're going to use your own bathroom. Don't rely on the camp bathroom. Um, but yeah really nice. I don't think I've seen a piece of trash. We're here in the middle of winter. Uh, well, the weather's good because we're in Texas. So yeah, this is a, uh, we're going to give this a five stars for sure. Oh, and I should say all over their website and all over review places, they say there's no Wi-Fi. Um, and it's true that you can't log into a network, but if you're using a phone, um, I have had zero problem. I'm on a Sprint phone and I've had zero problem accessing the Wi-Fi. So even though there's not like an internet connection, um, you can get Wi-Fi. So you're good. I mean, like fast, good Wi-Fi. I've been trading stocks and doing all sorts of stuff on it. And Walmart, <clears throat> if you need to upload something, is uh, 15 minutes, 20 minutes away. So this is definitely a five star. And it's only $18. So it's one of the cheaper. It's not... Um, you know, the cheapest Texas State Park is $14. And so there's quite a few. There's only one that's $14. There's a few that are $15. This is like, I think, the only $18 one. Um, and then the rest are $20, $25. So it's, it's definitely one of the cheaper state parks. And it's not too terribly out in the boonies. Um, like I said, Walmart's 20 minutes away if you drive like a grandma. So, yeah, all five stores. Good job.